have been nice one year reporting from nice one year mission control. I'll be answering some questions about Mars from my friends in Miss Gronka's class. Our first question comes from Matthew. Where is Mars and can we see it without a telescope? Es excellent question, Matthew. Mars is the first fourth planet from the sun. It's also named after the Roman god of war. It's also known as the red planet because the iron oxide on the surface go gives it a, red a reddish look. You can see Mars more easily during certain years and seasons. Mars has distinct orange and red reddish color that veins in brightness. In 2023, it will be closest to Earth and more easily to see. Our next question comes from Preston. How big is Mars? Great question. Mars is the seventh largest planet. It measures about 6,800 kilometers in diameter, about half the size of Earth. Here's a picture showing a comparison of Mars to Earth. Our next question comes from Stephen. Does Mars have any moons? Interesting question, Stephen. Mars has two moons named Phompus and Demos. Here's a good question from Devin. Does Mars have any mountains? Yes, it does, Devin. In fact, the tallest mountain in the solar system. It's Olympus Mons, and it's located on Mars. Mars even has a volcano that some scientists believe to be active. Here's a great question from Cameron. Does Mars really have water? Well, Cameron, Mars doesn't have oceans or rivers or lakes, but spacecrafts have found large deposits of water in the form of ice un underneath the surface. Mars is very cold because it, it's further from the sun and earth. It also doesn't have a thick atmosphere. It holds in the heat. Like Earth, Mars is a tilt on its axis, giving them seasons. Here's a popular question from Josiah. Is there a life on Mars? There is no factual evidence that there is or ever was life on Mars. We have sent two rovers which continue to send Im images back to Earth. These images are pro providing our scientists with valuable information about the atmosphere and terrain on Mars. Our last question comes from Ms. Karanka, my favorite third grade teacher. Dear Mission Control, how long would it take to get to Mars and could we make a place where humans could live? Well, Ms. Karanka, it would take nine months to get to Mars when it's closest to Earth, which is only every two years. As living three there, since Mars' atmosphere is much different than Earth, you would need special space suits to provide warmth and oxygen. Space suits that might look kind of like this. Pretty cool, huh? Someday, if space travel becomes more affordable, we may be able to build a Mars base. We would also need to warm the temperature on Mars by thickening the atmosphere. This would be cause the ice caps to melt, giving us a water supply. Thank you for your attention and interest in Mars. Have a great day.